How's everyone doing today? So, got a couple new parts that just came in. I'm pretty sure I already know what they are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them and then meet you guys outside in just a sec and we'll go over what they are and what we're gonna be putting on the truck next. All right guys, so this is the first little new gadget we got. Let's open it up, show you guys what uh, what we're about to be doing next on the truck. A lot of you will probably know what this is as soon as I pull it out. We got end links. Front sway bar, these are end links. I talked about in uh, I think a couple videos uh, back about how I was fixing a CV boot on my truck. And I noticed that the old bushings were all coming apart and were bad. Well, we're gonna fix that issue. And the next thing we got, we got a Bill, Bill Stein 5100 steering stabilizer or dampener. Whoever you're talking to, they'll call it, want to call it one, want to call it the other. So let's go have fun. So this right here is your sway bar. This is on the front end of your pickup. And these little solid pieces right here, these are called your end links. And what it is, you got a bushing underneath, a bushing on top, and it's got a little built-in, let's see if I can get it to show you guys. It's got a little built-in like metal washer uh, in the bushings. I think these are factory here. Um, and this top one has, excuse me, right there, you can see the bolt threading up through it and it's threaded. So this is acting as like, kind of like your nut for your bolt. And then same thing on the bottom, you've got your, you got a bushing on top again and a bushing underneath. And this is, I believe, I believe this is a 15 millimeter. Uh, and pretty much what it is, you've got a long bolt up in this and you just got like i said the the top is just kind of like your nut and this here is just like a just like a spacer just like a big pretty much like a big spacer uh between your sway bar uh and then your uh, bottom control arm so and i mentioned earlier uh, in a previous video about how uh when i went my see my family in east texas how we had replaced the cv boots well these are the cv boots you can tell it's got a lot of grease on the outside we were installing it i need to clean that up but so that's so there's that so let's get busy so i've got my 15 millimeter and then this you can use a pair of channel locks on top just to pretty much prevent uh what's acting as your nut on top from spinning So like I was telling you guys earlier, this goes just up through here to your spacer. Like I said, it's just a bolt. That's all it is. Hi guys, so just to explain how all this works, there's your solid bolt like I was talking about. So you would normally, you can see your spacer, see like I said how the uh, little washers are like built in and then pretty much what you can see, I mean look, look at my, my bushing guys, I mean look how it just, that's me just taking it off. But so pretty much it would have went like that and then just slid it through like that. That would have clamped right there around your like control, your bottom control arm. And then the top would be the same thing. It had gone just like that. 
and then the threaded piece I was talking about you can see it right there the threads it just that well got butter fingers over here but like it's there it would thread on and there you go clamps in between right there your control arm right here would be your sway bar that's how your end links work now the new one i'm going to be using is uh ac delco just pretty much oem replacements these are a little bit more heavy duty but you have to i went ahead and put this one all together but to get this one back in you have to pretty much disassemble it and then reassemble it as you're putting it up through the control arm so i'll show you guys that real quick but just show you something real quick so you'll kind of know uh see your washer see kind of it's got like a bowl look to it right there well if you'll notice on your polyurethane bushing it's kind of got the bowl shape there and then it's got kind of like a a more circular like it's supposed to fit inside something well that's because right there the polyurethane bushing this part here does sit down in there and then the other uh, let me get another one to show you guys and then the other one pretty much said clamp together like that and just so that's kind of where your sway bar would be right there in between those so when you're putting these together um, you may use a different brand than what I did but when you're using these just make sure the bowl and the bowl on the bushing are the ones that go together it's kind of just like that right there all right so I'm gonna get to putting this in here like I said you got to disassemble it first to get it up in here but as you guys can see right there I've got the bushing on here correct so you're gonna have one on the bottom and then same thing slide this down with the little round part going through you gotta kind of leave some room so you can get everything slid down on here put my washer on there now it's time for your little spacer and get a little more room just so you got enough bolts still showing to where you can get the next part on and just like that all right now line it up your sway bar there you go push it up through so now the next step would be to put your bushing on top and then last put your washer in put your nut on that's it show y'all kind of what i got going on um i've got it pushed up all the way on the bottom but as you can see i just got gaps there's just gaps all along and it's making it to where I don't have enough thread sticking up out the top to be able to pretty much show you here to pretty much there you go put my spacer on and then boom put the nut on I don't have enough thread showing so what I've got to do is is I'm gonna get just enough and some guys may do this different I'm gonna get just enough thread showing up through there that I can thread the nut on and try to pretty much pull everything to, like pull squeeze everything together um, to try to tighten everything uh, pull everything up snug and then maybe then I will be able to get then be able to get my washer on so I'm not installing it wrong I'm just pretty much I'm just having to improvise
I got the nut started. Now it's time to just pretty much tighten it all up. guys there it is finally got it all everything snugged up tightened Let's look how much better this one looks I mean, not only is it going to serve its purpose more because the other one was just completely shot but this one also just looks clean looks looks new i like to look at new that's we're talking about the new pickups that are out today i'll stick with old classics but Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Uh, just something real short, sweet, and simple. Uh, it's one of those things that it's not frustrating to do, but yet you know you upgraded something else on the truck. It just It's one of those days that it's a good day. It makes you feel good. You know, it wasn't, like I said, wasn't nothing that's just, you got a, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, and you're just frustrated because it's just, you know, kicking your rear and everything. I mean, it's just something that just goes together smooth i mean yeah you get dirty a little bit this and that but hey that's the name of the game um but it just makes you feel good you know today's friday um so hope you guys are having a good friday as i am because uh it's it's been a good day so far it's about probably in the i think it's in the mid to high 70s uh, and i'm in south texas so that's that's saying something down here but um just overall just a good day Getting this done on the truck, you know, it just makes the day even better. Got something, you know, got some old, you know, worn out parts replaced with some new parts. I mean, I mean, how would that not make you, you know, happy, make your day better? But, so, uh, hope you guys like this video, you know, just give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, let me know what you think. If you got any advice, you know, got any questions on, you know, uh, pretty much what I just did to the truck or anything, just, Hey, drop them down below. I'll try to. I'll. I'll take any advice. I'll. You know. I'll. I'll answer any questions I can. You know that I can answer. You know my ability. But um. So, I mean, it doesn't take tons of money. You know, you don't have to have tons of money to dump in your truck to make things better on it, to upgrade it, to just overall improve your vehicle. I mean, if you love working on trucks or cars, period, but you don't have tons of money. It's nothing to buy small stuff and still still work on it. I mean, and still get the pleasure of working on a vehicle. You don't have to have tons of money. So today, that's what we did today. That's exactly kind of explaining about what exactly we did today. Not really expensive, real simple to do, yet, hey, makes you feel good. So so hope you guys have a, are having a good Friday. Hope you guys have a good weekend, rolling into the weekend. Uh, I'm gonna be replacing my steering stabilizer on the truck uh, here soon. Um, hopefully, maybe tomorrow I can get to it. So uh, I'll try to, you know, video and kind of give you guys a how-to on that. That way, if you're thinking about doing it to your own, or you know, maybe you can learn something off of my video, or you know, beforehand before you dive off on yours, you know, kind of not knowing anything. So. Uh, like I said, be on the lookout for that video, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a good one.